Hello and welcome back to this longer video that we're talking about today is hybrids. Um, and a hybrid is a yo-yo that's made of two different types of material, so not like one metal and then another type of metal, but for instance a plastic like polycarbonate and aluminium for rims, or an aluminium body with polycarbonate for the rims, or basically two different types of metal. Uh, and for that video, I borrowed one of the earlier examples of hybrids, which is a Yo-Yo uh, Jam Dark Magic, or Dark Magic 2 to be precise. This is one of the original uh, hybrids, one of the first, um, or at least most famous examples of a hybrid Yo-Yo. It has a polycarbonate body and uh, aluminium rims and plastic caps. And the Yo-Yo Jam Dark Magic 2 was known for performing really, really well back in its day. Uh, it's been a couple of years since it came out. Yo-Yo uh, Jam no longer makes yo-yos, sadly. Uh, but um, here's kind of how the Yo-Yo Jam Dark Magic performs. And you'll see that, especially for such an old yo-yo, it does exceptionally well. So even though this yo-yo is by now about 13 and a half, 14 years old, you can see it goes all the way through the longer combo that I've used in most of my videos. It doesn't have much of a problem, it's stable, there's plenty of power. Uh, there's even enough power for it to return at the end with a, a very solid bind, so it does very well. Nowadays there's still quite a few companies that make hybrid yo-yos. In fact, in the past year, uh, the type of yo-yo that construction seems to have gotten more popular. So there's a, a couple of more recent examples that we're looking at today, as well as one of the more classic yo-yos, which is the iYoYo Iceberg. And after that, I'll have a couple of kind of weird uh, outliers that are just fun to look at and possibly options as well. So uh, to start off with, let's have a look at the iYoYo Iceberg, which is probably one of the more famous examples of a hybrid yo-yo. So here we go. First up, the iOyo Iceberg, which is a polycarbonate machined body yo-yo, stainless steel rims, it has a nice metal finger spin cap, a finger spin dimple in the middle as well. Uh, so uh, let's have a look. First off, we'll do a spin test. We'll have a finger spin test. We'll have a long combo test or a long trick test, a speed test, uh, and a little bit of a horizontal. And then we'll move on to the next yo-yo. The new wider version of the iceberg is the first yo-yo we're putting to the spin test. Uh, we don't have anything to compare yet, but it does very well at an average two minutes. So for today's combo, I'm using the Gentry Stein wrist mount tech combo, which I recently learned. It's a fairly long combo and it puts a lot of stress on the yo-yo. So um, it gives me a bit of an indication of how it'll behave. And the uh, iceberg is the first one to go through it, which I'll do at normal speed. The other ones will be sped up, but it goes through it quite nicely. It maintains enough spin that uh, I can get through at least the whole part that I know by now. Uh, I flubbed it a little at the end, but it returned to hand pr pretty decently. Speed combo goes just fine. Uh, it's pretty fast yo-yo. It feels fairly fast and stable and powerful. So uh, it goes through the speed combo, plenty good. Grinds are nice, they uh, last for a long time and are even able to return to the hand after a long finger grind. And you can do that with uh, hops as well. The iceberg is not one that is uh, very good for thumb grinds, so I'm not doing that one. But for finger grinds, it is very, very good. Once it centers, it lasts for a long time and the iceberg finger spun like this for a whopping almost a minute which I didn't want to put you through so I sped it up as well. It does fairly well at horizontal or my limited horizontals as well at least it uh, stays fairly stable and is able to return to the hand nicely at the end. Next up is the fairly new Speedaholic FX. Speedaholic FX also has a machined polycarbonate body, but it has aluminium or aluminum, if you're American, rims um, and a uh, 
very nice finger, finger spin dimple as well. So uh, here we go. Taking the average of four throw of three throws and eliminating the lowest uh, spun time, we get it about 112 seconds, just below two minutes, just below the iceberg, but not bad. For the long combo, it actually got through it pretty decently. I think it returned at the end with slightly more power than the iceberg did. But, you know, it's a long combo and it does get back to the hand. Pretty good. Speed, it feels nice and fast. It uh, go, blows through uh, this simple speed combo really nicely. It does well on grind tricks as well, finger grinds. Lasts for a fairly long time. I think the iceberg did a little bit better, but it's not bad. On the hopping grind trick, uh, it was actually a little bit more difficult than the iceberg, but not too bad. I think this is due to the thick rims, but it is a lot better at thumb grinds. The iceberg is no good for that, but this is. For finger spin, it did pretty decent. It came out at about half a minute which is a lot less than the iceberg, but still very good if you want to do finger spin based tricks. And for horizontals, it was about the same as the iceberg as well. It's fairly stable, it moves nice and fast, it doesn't tilt back to vertical too much, but a little bit more than iceberg did. Next up is this Yo-Yo Friends Unnamed Hybrid that came in a mystery box recently. Uh, it has a plastic PC polycarbonate body and other than the other two, not rims, but a cap with a finger spin nipple. So let's see uh, how it performs. I was actually disappointed at how poorly this yo-yo did in the spin test. I expected it to be on par with the Speedaholic and the Iceberg, but uh, alas. Regardless of its poor spin test time, it actually got through the longer combo fairly decently. Uh, I think it returned to the hand a little slower at the end than the other two, but it did return to the hand, so it's not too bad. It feels pretty nimble. It's, this is not a fast uh, or a, a slow, uh, heavy yo-yo. moves decently and no one should have any problem playing fast with this. Grind tricks were pretty decent, uh, as long as you don't hit the aluminum rims, but the Speedaholic FX have the same problem. If you hit those, it slowed down too much. Even for hopping, uh, hopping finger spins, I missed the bind, but no big deal. On finger spin, it was about the same as the Speedaholic FX. I think it's the narrow dimple, and I have wider fingers that make it last a little bit longer, less long than the uh, uh, iceberg does. But it's uh, not bad at all. And for horizontal, it did. Decent. It tended to tilt back to the regular play, uh, play uh, angle, which means I think that it's just a little less stable than the other two yo-yos. The next yo-yo is the Muzzle Top Mensch, which is also a machine polycarbonate body, stainless steel rims. Uh, it's a bit bigger than uh, the other ones, I think, a bit wider, a bit bigger diameter. Um, no finger spin dimple on this one, just a flat uh, cup. Spin test for the Mensch absolutely destroyed the other yo-yos that we've tested so far, going up to almost two and a half minutes. The long combo just was not a problem at all. It blew through this thing without any issue. It's uh, fairly wide, which for some of the more technical elements make it a little bit more tricky to get through it, but it was not really a problem and it returned nicely to the hand. It feels fast. It's not ultra light an ultra light yo-yo but it it does feel light and very floaty and like it doesn't weigh much it feels like it doesn't weigh much even though it's not super light for grinds along with the uh, iceberg this is just excellent it's just really good for it but it uh, spins for a long time i think i let it sit on my hand a little too long but it does just well binds are nice and tight as well and uh even thumb grinds are not an issue with this. If, if you would give it a bit of practice and a slight angle. This yo-yo clearly does not have a finger spin dimple, which you can tell by the limited time that it finger spun and it starts wobbling around after a while. But it's not bad for a yo-yo without a dimple. And uh, most 
simple finger spin tricks should not be an issue with it. For horizontal, this thing is a beast. It wants to stay on the pl same plane as it started with and it does not tilt easily. Uh, honestly, this is probably the best yo-yo in the bunch for horizontal play. Next yo-yo is the Yo-Yo Formula F7, which is a wide Delrin yo-yo with stainless steel rings inserted. They're just kind of pressed in. Uh, this is the non-light-up version of a yo-yo that I think was made for light-up. Uh, but I didn't get that one. I got this one, so that's what we're testing today. The F7 tested fairly decently at 104 seconds over an average of the three best throws. So nothing to sneeze at, but nothing spectacular either. This being such a cheap yo-yo, I was slightly worried that it would get through the whole combo, but I should not have worried, it did just fine. Uh, my play was getting a little sloppy, this was after all the umpteenth time I'd been doing this today, and at the end I was not able to return it to my hand. So that's a mixture of the yo-yo itself and sloppy play, it did not have that much power. It does move nicely when pushed faster though, it's not the fastest yo-yo in the bunch, but it's not like terribly slow either. In grinds you can feel that this is a cheaper yo-yo, it just feels a little rougher on the outside, it's not finished as nicely as the more expensive hybrids, but it does fairly decently, and I am able to do simpler tricks with it, no problem, even little hop, uh, hop style tricks, and uh, it does decently for thumb grinds as well, even though the ring on the inside is a little sharpish, it's just not finished very nicely. If you look at the cup, it looks like it has a finger spin dimple, but it really doesn't. And it, you can tell it starts wobbling around and slowing down quite a bit. Um, it does a little bit better than the muzzle top uh, mensch, but not by much. So it's not too terrible, but it's not great either. For horizontal, it's not bad. I think it's about on par with the uh, uh, Speedaholic FX for staying on plane. It did move back to uh, vertical a little bit, but that's mostly my play. The next yo-yo is the Magic Yo-Yo Vapor Motion, which uh, is out of production by now, but can still be found in some places. It's a collaboration between C3 Yo-Yo Design and Magic Yo-Yo. It has these metal aluminium caps with a deep finger spin dimple in it, in V shape, with a uh, polycarbonate body. So. On spin times, the Vapor Motion came out slightly below the other more expensive yo yo so far, and also slightly below the F7. But nothing to be like worried about. I think this yo yo actually got through the long combo better than the uh, previous F7. And that might have something to do with the fact that it had a bit of better finish than the F7 does. And, uh, and it just had a little bit more power left at the end. It feels really nice and fast. It's a bit of a smaller yo-yo. I think the diameter is a little bit less than most of the ones we've tried so far, except for the Speedaholic. And it's a little narrow, which makes it uh, small and nimble. Grinds, I wasn't crazy about. The thick rims tend to stick to the fingers a little bit, which means you're not grinding on the plastic as much, and that means uh, it slows down by a lot more. But it does decent. Forget about thumb grinds. There is no thumb grind lip. There are no rims to stick your thumb on. Uh, finger spins, it was easy to land, but it actually did really poorly in how long it lasted. Although uh, it did get cut short a little by me uh, flubbing the string there. But the small finger spin dimple doesn't really work for my hands. I think uh, my hands are just too big. On horizontal, it wasn't too bad. I do prefer wider yo-yos for horizontal. It's a little bit hard and it did tilt back to a regular sideways style play. Uh, we get the Sense Yo-Yo Anti-Mono, which has a polycarbonate, probably machine shell on the outside, and a nice flat aluminium cup. Even though the Anti-Mono is very much not shaped like a performance yo-yo with its softer curves, it performs very nicely in this vintage.
I was kind of expecting the anti-mono to run out of steam or to start tilting or turning halfway through the combo, but it didn't, and it worked really nicely for it, actually. So um, I was actually kind of impressed with the way that it ran through the whole combo. Like I said, this does not feel like a performance yo-yo because it's so comfortable, but it performs really nicely and it moves fairly fast. And it just really does its job as an everyday yo-yo. It feels really nice on grinds, but it doesn't really have that wide gap that some of the other ones do, which slows it down a little bit more on finger grinds. Uh, but it does fairly well, and the finish feels really nice to the touch. It is uh, not a good uh, thumb grind yo-yo, however. The lip is uh, too much of a slope, so it doesn't really catch on the finger. Once again, lacking a finger spin dimple means that it doesn't do that too, for too long. I did mess up with the string a little, but it just wobbles all over the place. This yo-yo is also not great for horizontal tricks. It's not terrible, but if you start getting into the more complicated things, it starts to, it just isn't as forgiving of mistakes. And last of all, we are going to have a look at the Dressel Designs Monarch which is a polycarbonate uh, bodied yo-yo with aluminium rims. Uh, it's a bit squarish, um, but I really like this. It has a flat cap, so, uh, or a flat uh, hub. The spin test performs nicely, on, about on par with the Speedaholic and the Iceberg. This was actually one of the yo-yos I used most in learning this combo because it stayed nice and stable and it moves at about the right tempo and speed. And I uh, really quite enjoy this yo-yo for uh, longer tricks. Even though I flubbed it a little bit, it uh, does come back nicely. It moves nice and fast, it's stable. It's just a really enjoyable yo-yo to use. It feels excellent on grinds, it grinds a long time, there's a lot of plastic body and the finish on the rims is nice and uh, blasted or smooth, which means that it feels good and it uh, doesn't slow down too much when grinding. It is possible to thumb grind with it, but you do need to throw it at a slight angle, otherwise it doesn't quite catch. For finger spins it's not amazing, but it's not like terrible either. It's just uh, about on par with most flat cap yo-yos. It does feel really nice for horizontal play. About the same as the Speedaholic FX and the Iceberg. It stays nicely on plane. It moves fast and it doesn't slow down too much even when making small mistakes. All right, before we go into conclusion time, I want to show you some other fun things. So I, I already showed you the Dark Magic which is the, uh, well, I guess, from what I understand, Yo-Yo Jam started the whole uh, hybrid phase and um, it's still continuing strong. Uh, but some other notable or fun examples, uh, first of all, from iYoYo, same company as the Iceberg, they remade the Yo-Yo Jam Night Moves. Um, now this has caps on it, but with like a suction cup, you can pull the caps off. And then the cup underneath is pretty similar to the Iceberg. It's just a little bit more of a V-shape instead of an H-shape, and it's a little heavier, but it plays pretty good. With the caps on, it rattles a little bit, but without, it's basically just a different iceberg. So that's a, that's a fun one. It's also not super expensive. Uh, this thing that someone found, and I saw on uh, AliExpress as well, it's uh, super light. Here's some tricks. It's super light. Uh, it's really fast, but it doesn't have a lot of power. <laughs> Uh, as you can see, it's mostly just uh, plastic, see-through, probably polycarbonate. There's a weird uh, like brass-colored knob in the middle where the axle screws into, and the rings, I think, are aluminium because it's not very heavy. It doesn't have a lot of power. It is super fast, however. It's really quick, um, but like I said, it's kind of lacking in power. So it's fun if you want to collect things. I wouldn't recommend it for serious play. From a friend of mine, he made the Gemstones. Now the Gemstones, I've mentioned it before, it's a small yo-yo. 
Here it is with the finger spin caps. I wouldn't recommend finger spinning with the finger spin caps. If you want to finger spin it, take the caps off. But they do look neat with a little dimple inside. Uh, there's a spin top cap as well. As you can see, it has a little point on it so that yo-yo can spin on a flat surface. And, oh. and there's flat caps as well, if that's your preference, or you can take the caps off. And then it's a really good finger spinning yo-yo. I think it lacks a little bit of power and stability, but it is a fun little yo-yo. Coming soon from the same maker is uh, something I have a prototype of, but not, I haven't seen the production version yet. I understand it's coming this summer. Is it, so this is also an ARC1 yo-yo. It's a hybrid with a polycarbonate body and stainless steel rims. It's fairly small, but it plays very, very close to a full-size H-shaped yo-yo. It's actually really good and it's currently probably at least among my favorite pocket yo-yo. So I, I don't know if it's my absolute favorite, but it's certainly among my favorites. So um, keep an eye out for the next ARC1 yo-yo. Something from the company Lathe Back Design. I don't know if I, well, with the rims, it's kind of a hybrid yo-yo, Delrin rims, titanium body. The rims can be taken off, so you have a nice mini yo-yo. It's, uh, it's pretty good. On full size, it doesn't perform up to standard with the likes of things like an Iceberg or uh, Dressel Designs Monarch, uh, but it is, it is really quite good uh, and a fun little yo-yo. They are expensive, but I think they're worth it. Um, so you can have a look at that. One more uh, that I'd like to mention is the C3 Yo-Yo Design iX which I also have in my position. As you can see, it's strung up with a counterweight. That is what it's made for. It's made for 5A and comes with spacers switchable for 4A. It is usable for 1A, but it is humongous. It's really big. It's bigger than the F7 that I already demonstrated. If I hold it next to the night moves uh, in diameter, it's only a little bit bigger, but it is a bit bigger. But if you look at width, it's crazy big. It's a, just a huge yo-yo which is probably why it's also suitable for, for A. But this being all Delrin and some steel rims, and I think the newer versions are polycarbonate and steel rims, it's, and the, the polycarbonate is on the outside, it's very suitable for 4A and 5A because it doesn't mind getting dropped. So um, that said, let's go on to the conclusions. All right, conclusion time. So I'll go through them one by one and uh, all my conclusions. First of all, Iceberg. Now, Iceberg is the absolute finger spinning champion in this bunch. It's the most stable for it. Uh, it does tend to wobble around a little bit at first sometimes because there's almost like a flat cup in the middle, but it's not quite flat, so it centers nicely and stays on there basically, and it doesn't slow down by much as you've seen. Great in every other category, pretty good at horizontals, it's fast, it's stable, it has lots of spin time, placed second in the overall spin time test. Uh, it's just a really good yo-yo for a very decent price. I can highly recommend this. If you don't have one or have never played one, give it a whirl, you'll be surprised. The Speedaholic FX, uh, almost as performant as the Iceberg, not quite as good on the finger spins, which I suspect is because I have fairly big fingers and this is a very uh, narrow finger spin cup, but performs virtually on par in every other category. Also excellent choice. It's a little more comfortable due than the Iceberg due to the thicker rims. Um, if you don't like the Iceberg, you might like the Speedaholic FX. The Yo-Yo Friends Unnamed Hybrid. I was actually kind of disappointed in this. I thought it would perform better given the uh, reputation and the experience that I've had with Yo-Yo Friends and other Yo-Yos. Uh, spin times were a bit of a letdown. Uh, it tends to tilt during horizontals. Um, finger spins were also not super impressive. It's the easiest out of the bunch to finger spin. This like cup directing you towards the finger spin dimple does not miss. If you can hit it anywhere in the cup, it'll land right but it doesn't spin for too long. But it's a fun yo-yo. I don't know if they'll bring this out separately, but if they do and it's not too expensive, it might be worth it. Muzzletop Mensch. Now the Muzzletop Mensch destroyed all other yo-yos in virtually every other category. It is the best for horizontals. It is fast. It has ultra long spin times. 
Uh, the only thing it wasn't great at is uh, finger spins, but that's the flat cup versus the finger spin dimple. Um, I do have to make a side note with this. However, uh, the Mazda Top company has had some trouble getting products out. Uh, so um, getting an order in with them, you don't actually know when you'll eventually get your order. Uh, so far from what I understand, he does always eventually get orders out, but it could take a while. So um, this is probably my favorite yo-yo out of the bunch. But it's also, it comes with that side note. Be careful when ordering. Manage your expectations. The F7 from Yo-Yo Formula. Super cheap, super high performant. I really like this Yo-Yo and I can highly recommend it to anyone looking for like a plastic with a little bit more performance. Basically a hybrid. Uh, the only thing it wasn't great at that I expected it to be better at is finger spins. Uh, the cup does not direct it towards the, something that looks like a finger spin dimple and it didn't do too well on that front but on every other front it did excellent and if you have a couple of bucks to spare find a place that sells them I know that at least Yo-Yo Sam sells them um, I don't know where else uh, but give it a whirl you might be surprised C3 Vapor Motion Excellent yo-yo, performed well, not great on the horizontals, it tended to tilt back to uh, verticals, but uh, really nice. Uh, performed on par with the Speedaholic FX, basically. It's a little harder to find now, though, because it doesn't get made anymore. Uh, it is a little bit more narrow, so if that's more of your thing, then you might like the uh, vapor motion a little bit more. But um, if that's like the only thing, getting a Speedaholic FX or an Iceberg, should be just as good but it is a really fun yo-yo the anti-mono actually surprised me in the spin test i didn't expect it to do so well but it uh it did really well it's probably the most comfort comfortable to use yo-yo out of the whole bunch and um if you're looking for something along the lines of an organic yo-yo or something that's almost like an organic i can highly recommend this it plays like a plastic organic but with more spin time and power so, great yo-yo, really fun. And last of all, the Dressel Designs Monarch, which is such a good yo-yo. I really like this yo-yo as well. Uh, it performs very well. It's a little, like if it would be slightly more performant, it's a little less wide the, than the uh, Mazel Top. The Mazel Top is freaking humongous. It's, it's the only thing that's wider, I think, is the F7 and only barely, uh, but the uh, other than that, it's huge, but the Monarch just has loads of power, loads of spin time, lo it's very comfortable, it's pretty good for horizontals. Um, I really like this one. It's not super expensive, but if you're buying this, you're buying from an independent small time company that uh, does great service and works really well. Uh, and he has some great designs. So if you can nab one, might be worth it. So that's all for today. I hope you had fun and learned something maybe or found out about something that you didn't know yet. And uh, if not, then um, maybe you can arrange for that next time. So thank you for watching this very long video and uh, until next time.